hello and welcome to next selenium tutorial so in this tutorial we are going to see how can we handle our dynamically the radio buttons in any web application right let's take a, a facebook website as example uh, when you are clicking on create new account so your new page will open so over here you can see gender as a three different uh, radio buttons right so basically how this radio buttons will appear right? it's a group element say for example uh check boxes you are and your uh, drop down elements and your radio buttons so all these are uh, kind of a grouping elements so these will appear as a grouping elements so the developers use these elements as a grouping some of the elements like gender right so if you inspect this so it's it occurs as a group elements so you can clearly notice that so expand this so you can if you expand this over here right so the name uh, attribute right you can see over here as a sex right so it is uh, appearing as a sex so the same attribute as name here also will be a same and here also it will be same so this attribute name right used to group the elements different elements into one uh, particular uh, a particular uh, component right so that that's how it is used right mostly this class and your name attribute will come as the same for all your grouping elements so in that first one will be like radio button and uh, second one will be checkbox and third one will be your drop down so these are like grouping elements it will appear like this one so mostly that attribute will be same even though uh, it appears as a different web element in your web application right so today we are going to see how can we handle this radio button so how can we handle uh, dynamically appearing uh, your uh, check uh, radio buttons right so and we are going to see uh, how can we make on reusable method so that whatever the value will pass it will automatically select your uh, particular value what you wanted to select as a radio button in the end of the video we will see that right so it's all about start with your how you are framing your x path so so let's see how can we do this uh, let's get started so first we have to click on this create new uh, account button so let's inspect that let's see what is the unique id it has so it's a uh, anchor tag and it has id also unique so to find out that it has only one uh, element with this id so we can use this so I have already uh, run the code for initial setup. So let's check this as dot find element by ID. So whatever the ID we have copied, let's give it over here, and we have to click on this button. Right. So first, once we click on this button, and then uh, our one another page will open. So over here, we should click on this either one of these radio button right so let's inspect this what appears so mostly in your application if any of the one page right or some of the group elements appears so the way of uh, the web elements the tags it will form right will be same for all the elements you know i can compare these elements right only the text will be changing so here uh, female male and custom but the attributes mostly it will be same it will be similar right so if it is appears a different also it will be in some of the sequence you can identify using that also but if you are using your uh, uh, any of that uh, dynamically changing ids or some of the values like this so you cannot make it a dynamically changing or select your values so instead what we can do so we can frame an x path in such a way that so if you are passing your uh, display text it has to select what you wanted to uh, the particular radio button right so let's uh, get uh, some x path uh, so that we can select like that so over here what we have we have span element with class this one uh, and the class is same for all three elements so we can take this first uh, class is same for all three uh, elements so it is a span element let's take relative x path so for attribute we have to give at the rate 
and the class is equal to within single quotes let's give this so now we have found uh, our root parent element but it has three accounts so one two three so let's strike to particular one element so what we wanted to select we wanted to select input right so even though if you have uh, selected input it appears three web elements right so we wanted to select based on the text so what we can do so for that we have to use a uh, xpath access so if you know what is already xpath mean you will come to know what is the xpath access let's see that uh, what it will be so if you see over here we have two different elements but both are comes under span element so this is parent element and these two are children's for the span element but if you notice these two are parallel to each other so which means those two are siblings so what we can do see this is a label element so it appears before input element right and label is a preceding sibling for input and input is a following sibling for label so we have to select input so we have already given input so we have to take preceding siblings right so we have to take uh, preceding sibling so what is the pre preceding sibling it's a label right so what is the label which means we have to pass the text right let's say based on the text we have to select so what is the text over here is uh, we have to give over here so now you can see over here it is pointing to one element that is the first one so if you want to if we change the text from here it will go to other radio button right the same way if you change text it has to select your next radio button what you wanted to select so like this we can frame the x path now our x path is ready let's try over here like how we can select this right so let's <coughs> so so before selecting your uh, radio button right we have to uh, be clear on whether it's already selected or not so to check whether it is already selected or not so selenium provides one method called e selected method so how this e selected method will work let us see uh, this is the web element so for this web element let's find this driver dot find element by dot export let's close this so this is the web element so let's save it into one variable radio button so it is saved into web element now so if you wanted to uh, see whether this particular radio button is selected or not so selenium provides e selected method right so it is e selected so if you see the definition uh, it is showing uh, this operation only applies to input elements such as checkboxes, options in select and radio buttons. Input elements means if your radio button appears under your input tab, then this e selected method will work. So it will give you the right answer. Otherwise, what will happen right this will not give you the result it will always returns you the false for in such cases what you have to do you have to go for your get attribute method so that one of the uh, tag in your input or other tags uh, which appears as a radio button has some, one of the other way some value will be there whether it's a check or some of the class will be having checked or something like that it will be there so i have already covered this video already with get attribute method video you can uh, watch that video you can get some a fair idea of how this works right so as of now what we can consider so if e selector will work only for input tag not for other tags so some of the web application input this radio buttons will appear as some of the span element or uh, uh, 
uh, your like a label elements like that it will appear it will not be input tag for uh, selecting any of the web applications for uh, radio buttons so in such cases we cannot use this e selected method right so here e selected will work because it is a input tag so we will check whether this is not already selected so then i will go ahead and select this particular web element dot so for radio button now uh, so we have to uh, use click a uh, method because it using mouse we are going to click on this particular web element right so we can use the click method over here that it is selected so let us check uh, so before and after whether it is selected or not right let's print it in the console this is before and let's see for after finally let us close the driver that will not be anything in the garbage so what we have done we are uh, opening the uh, Facebook and clicking on the button uh, to sign up to the uh, Facebook page and we are going to select a custom uh, radio button and before we are select, uh, we are checking whether it is selected or not if it is not selected then we will select it right let's try now maximize browser and launch facebook.com it has to click on create new account click on it and before it is true and after it is false let's give some wait time over here slip so that we can see what whether it is selected or not really let's try one more time Click on create new account and see over here it is clicked on custom it's, and it is true. So before it is false, it is is selected method returning false and after selected it is returning true. Right? So it is working perfectly fine. So let's make some reusable method so that whatever we give it has to select the particular value. Right? So let's make some reusable method. So let's create public void select radio button and here we have to pause the driver driver and what is the value we wanted to pass right uh, getting inside the method so let's put it outside let's make it a static so we can call it from any method right so let's put this complete code into new one just no more from here right so this is the value that we are going to pass here and we go here so that it will be like selected so what we have done so we'll pass the value this is the value so based on the value it will select right like already we have seen how we can print the export right the value what is the value we are passing let us give let us put this is how we can make some keyword driven framework so for your all your web elements we can make one one methods and we can just pass the value and it will be selected it will be like easy maintenance so let me call this method after clicking on this call this method driver what is the value i want to select so here i want to select first custom 
and do I want to select male and select female right let's give only two seconds of wait time let's try now so in any of the web application it will be like same the across the application the web element will appear the same say for example radio button or check boxes the way it will be displaying will be same but you can see, clearly see that it is selected one by one and you can see over here this first we are trying to select custom radio button and male radio button and female radio button so this is how we can select dynamically uh, any of the web application using your radio button so it lies under the way you form your export and making that uh, reusable methods based on that you can uh, give any values across your web application so this you have to create a reusable method in such a way that across your application if you pass the value so it has to select your uh, radio button so it might be appearing the first page on the last page the way your developers will develop your uh, web application will be same so we can easily uh, create your uh, reusable method based on your grouping elements like radio button or checkbox like that right so that's all from this video guys in next video we will see how we can select a checkbox in the same way right so if you love watching my video please like my video and if you have not subscribed to my channel already please subscribe to my channel thanks for watching guys